All right, so we've got something exciting for you guys. We were sent this by Pack a Pit, and it's a foldable fire pit. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about this for the Airstream because the Airstream is very small, and we take it into all sorts of state parks and eventually national parks. You always have to have a contained fire. No campgrounds let you have an uncontained fire, and they don't always provide fire pits. So we're gonna unbox this bad boy and see what it looks like. I'm pretty excited about it. So. We've got the different pieces here. Oh, that's the propane kit. Okay, so if you told us he was gonna send this over, there's a propane kit for, I believe it's cooking and fire pits. And mm -hmm. also really, really good because not all campgrounds let you have a wood burning fire. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they only let you have propane. This is perfect. Look at this, this is nice. This is heavy. So I'm excited about seeing how this guy, whoa really cool it's really neat look I at saw his on instagram I was like oh my gosh it's awesome. look at his logo yep that is not is that not the coolest thing that's cool all right so i got everything laid out we're going to get this assembled in a second but i'm actually really really excited about this because we've needed a propane fire pit everyone has them now and it's so nice because there is a lot of campgrounds that you cannot have wood fires because of burn bans or anything super excited about this and then i'm actually super excited about the grill kit because i love grilling and we're going to definitely put some steaks on this bad boy um, he said sandwiches are really good on that too yeah we're definitely going to put some steaks and stuff on this bad boy so let's see what's in the grill kit first oh my gosh that's really nice this... look at that beautiful workmanship he does that it all is himself so cool and it's got the like it looks like a heat deflector oh no that's a searing plate mm -hmm. no way sear a steak on this bad boy oh we're gonna get some steaks from the house and we're gonna sear the steaks on this so that's a sear plate we're gonna get this seasoned up and then a grill obviously and it looks like everything packs down with this carabiner everything's got these nice holes in it and it looks like everything actually packs down and hooks on these carabiners all right so we got the fire pit out we're gonna put this thing together. It's super quick. It just slides together. Just like that. And you put the last piece in. Just like that. And there is the assembled pit minus putting the base in. All right. So there's the assembled fire pit. We'll just go ahead and slide in the base which is very thick metal, very thick metal. That is super cool, I like that, look at that. That is so cool looking, huh. look at that. That's super nice. That is so cool looking. It's so aesthetically pleasing. It's just, it, it's so nice, it's so like almost rugged military looking. That is cool. Alrighty, so I got the pit assembled. They actually give you a really thick like ground cloth to protect the surface underneath it. So that's really nice. I really appreciate that. Um, this thing is definitely coming with us wherever we go. This is so nice. And thank you guys for sending it over. This is incredible. We're gonna get a fire going in this bad boy and might even do a little bit of cooking tonight. If not, we're definitely gonna cook some steaks. You know that. So check this thing out, all assembled. So you can see you can see basically, it's just slotted in there. It's really nice laser cut slots. There's the base. And it's obviously, it's not big, but it's, this is a full size piece of wood. That's plenty of space. Plenty of space for a nice fire. Do a little bit of marshmallow roasting or whatever you want on top of it. Just sit around the campfire. Let's get a fire going. We've got some fire starters here. Got some nice kindling are going to use to start a good fire. That's perfect. One more. Perfect. You guys, I am loving the aesthetics and look at this fire pit. And it's such heavy gauge metal. This is going with us right in the back of the truck, 
we're gonna take this bad boy all around the country. But check this thing out, man. It's nice, it's small. We're gonna try out the propane kit here in a little while and we're gonna grill some steaks on it too. But man, that is so nice. Alrighty, so we switched locations and I had to get a hose um, and I'll put a link down below in this. So it includes, right out of the box, a quick disconnect, 3 8 quick disconnect. All, us, all the stuff I had was half inch. So I grabbed a 3 8 quick disconnect line with regulator, plugs right in. So to assemble the propane kit, and I just did a test burn on this, good, it's not hot, so come here. We've got the line in here now. This is my mistake and I'm gonna do an update video to this. You do not need a regulator. Um, so I'm gonna get a line without a regulator, but he already supplies the, the company will supply the quick disconnect here on it. It's three eighths. Make sure you buy a three eighths quick disconnect. So now I bought a line that goes to a regulator. Again, do not buy one with a regulator unless you want a very small flame. But this nice and easy plugs right in, quick disconnect. And again, you take the standard base out and you put this in place of it. And then this guy will just sit right in the base, just like that. So we've also got the cooking kit we're gonna be installing here with the propane kit. Um, I'm gonna get this cut open and we're gonna get this installed. So you can see the cooking kit gets installed and it's actually a sear plate too, which is cool. I'm gonna rinse these off and we're gonna test this out and see how it does. But you can see, you can use a sear plate or you can use a grill grate. That's cool. I've got the cooking kit installed with the propane kit. This is really cool. I really like this and the grill grate is adjustable height wise. So if you check it out and I've got it on low flame right now, I'm just heating it up and I'm going to cook on this. But this rod here just hooks onto the base and you can use it with either of the bases, the propane or the regular surface grate. So you can cook on a, a, over an actual fire as well. But I'm going to cook some pork chops on this. So we are testing out the cooking kit here with some pork chops. And we're gonna get these bad boys seasoned up with some Kinder's The Blend. I've been really liking that stuff lately. So it's just salt, pepper, garlic, but it tastes great. So get these bad boys flipped and season them up. There we go. So I really hope you guys all liked that review of the pack pit folding or collapsible fire pit. I really like this thing. We are definitely gonna be using it in our travels. It'll fold up and go right back in the truck and it all hooks up with carabiners. So it's easy to go right into the back of your truck. It takes almost no space. But we just got done cooking and we are gonna put it away and use it for next time. Thank you guys for sending that over. I really like this thing.